We are now recording. Okay. Welcome to Common Metrics meeting for the 19th of September. Um, so I had the homework. I'll put it in the chat, but it's also in the document. It's that uh, to the commit Google hours doc. WG Common doc. Yeah. Cool. The this this one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're in there. Someone's okay. in there. Um, so if you recall last time we talked about this, we were, the way that this metric had started was whether, basically whether or not somebody is contributing to projects within business hours. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. And we kind of ended up on the notion that maybe business hours is <laughs> just not a term we can work with in any reasonable way. Mm -hmm. um, so we ended up kind of pairing this down or kind of winnowing it down quite a bit to really just capture commit hours and dates mm -hmm. is what it came down to. And so this section right in here was kind of this, I left this in there as an indicator of what used to be there. Mm -hmm. um, but I think what came from the conversation, at least what I heard was that we need to just pare this down to perhaps just these kinds of of items mm -hmm. that we can pull from Git, just really date time stuff. Yeah, exactly. Um, because I think, you know, someone could use this to, they could use this data to do something with business hours because sure. they would have the, they would have the data, they would have the timestamps. Mm -hmm. um, but like you said, business hours was, was problematic. Um, but the date, um, I'm not sure about commit count because oh, yeah, that was... time, time stamps are usually by commit. So you wouldn't have a commit count that matched a there, time stamp. Yeah. What is in GitHub, the commit count, is it lines? Oh, it's oh, 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 okay. So that was, I, it, take it or leave it. I think it's a size issue. <laughs> I was just kind of trying to kind of go through some API stuff and see what we'd have access to. And then yeah, I, then yeah. I started even thinking further, like maybe, maybe we don't attach it just to commits because if we're common, then we want these date timestamps mm -hmm. for pretty much anything on the activity side of things. Yeah, I was just—I was just sorry. I was just looking at the GitHub API to see if I could figure out what that commit count was. Yeah, for a while I thought it was like a num, like an ID number, but I don't think that's what it is. Is that what the field is called? Commit underscore count. Maybe, maybe I was looking somewhere else. Hmm. Is there a commit size? I just typed it. Mm. Oh, I know where I pulled this from. I pulled it from the auger endpoints. Ah. Uh, That's where I pulled it from. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how Augur defines that. So maybe I just, at least for the time being, maybe at least strike this through. Yeah. Um, and the person. That's, that's the bit that we actually need, is who made the commit. OK. What is it? User ID? Probably something yeah. along those lines. Some, something along those lines. Okay. Um, and then, then I, when I was doing this, I'm like, is this getting so pared down that it's <laughs> like not useful? I mean, is, is talking about 
in common date time is an important metric. Mm -hmm. Should we formalize it? I think it's kind of informally in a lot of the evolution metrics. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking that it's probably kind of a, what is it we were calling these kind of atomic metrics that are, uh -huh. yep. that a lot of things build on. It seems like this is probably one of those. Okay. And cause I mean, you can pull this kind of stuff for almost any action mm -hmm. on in Git. Yeah, exactly. So it, okay. doesn't even, it doesn't even have to be a commit date. It could be anything. I'm going to delete. Yeah, right. It, right. So then we just, like, even the title just becomes, like, activity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you could use it for things related to issues. You could use it for things related mm -hmm. to pull requests. You could use yep. it for anything. Yeah. Yeah. And that is about as atomic <laughs> as you can get <laughs> a metric. I don't know that you can go below that. <laughs> and then to your point, yes, then you could use this, obviously, if you wanted you, say, like Dawn at Pivotal, wanted to start identifying business hours, mm -hmm. you could do that. Right. But that would be your your own your own bounds that you would set. Mm -hmm. So this originally came out of the geography metrics. Yep. Um, I guess I'm trying to figure out what we what we do with these because so, in some cases they may projects may have geographical data in other cases they may not. Are I'm there not, what other metrics did we have for geography? I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember where those were. Um, I remember when we discussed about um, engineers maybe in China uh, changing the. Uh, time zone in their comments to mm. show that they are elsewhere and that mm -hmm. the patches are not coming from China. Uh, was there any any progress in uh, any work around on this, or is it just the way it is? I suspect it's probably <laughs> just the way it is. <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, I think. I think that's something you'd maybe have to address on a project by project basis. If that was, if that was a big issue for your particular community, then maybe you'd make some adjustments. No, I remember on. it was Jesus raising it as uh, yeah. claiming that it may not be a re reliable, uh, re re reliable uh, uh, metric. Yeah, uh, I would definitely agree with that. Mm -hmm. uh, though for me, it would be very interesting because uh, we have, projects like we claim to be the upstream for a project and it's all done by our engineers in France and Sweden only and we see it when mm -hmm. we use uh, Green Mar Lab or yeah, we, we see it so for for healthy or transparent projects that's really helpful mm -hmm. um, and I had another comment Matt, you were mentioning the normal business working hours uh, and when, and then you edited uh, when in, uh, engineers uh, provide comments for uh, their their employers. Um, what about France? Because it seems that there there's this rule in France that engineers shall not even receive emails from their managers out of regular working hours. What if it comes up that their comments are coming at midnight when the trade unions in France <laughs> enforce no work at all? That's interesting. That is interesting. So we could conceivably run into ethical issues where we could get someone in trouble with the law. 
<laughs> yes. by reporting their data. Interesting. Yeah, maybe it's not our problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, probably like not. Thing. No. Yeah. I'm curious about the outcome anyway. <laughs> So in the um, minutes, I did drop the ge geography link on GitHub. Cool. So we had contributor country, employer country, and commit hours. Mm -hmm. Those are the other two. And honestly, at this point, commit hours could just be modified mm -hmm. for these commit date hours. Yeah. And not commit, but activity hours. Right. and get rid of that regular business hour comment. The other the other two look pretty good too. I mean, contributor country and contributor employer country, mm -hmm. the headquarters for the communities that have that data. Can we, does, what does GitHub give you on country stuff? GitHub gives you a location field, which a person can put whatever they want in that. So I've so, seen people put like planet Earth. I've seen people okay. put, um, you know, like just the name of a city, but no, no uh, like mine probably just says London. Um, is that London in the UK? Is that London, there's a London? Yeah, there's a London in Ohio too. I think there's another London in the, like, yeah. Um, so that data is not particularly uh precise okay um is it so imprecise that it's not even moving things forward i don't know Possibly? you know what i mean i don't know i mean it might be it might be useful um you know and depending depending on the community i mean some communities have um you know some communities have better data than others right like if it's mm -hmm. If it's a small community, you might you might know what everyone's location is. Um, if it's if it's a community that has um, you know like other user data, like some some communities have additional profile data, they mm -hmm. might have additional information about location. What you're talking about is kind of like social knowledge, not something that I'd get from trace data. No, it could be trace data. So oh. if you think about a community, for example, that has, um, say, a discussion forum mm -hmm. that is tied to your GitHub account, for example, mm -hmm. like uses OAuth or something for authentication, and it has robust location data in it, yep. then you might be able to get trace data that way. I see. Um, if, it's a, if you're analyzing a community that's actually part of, um, part of a company, like with inside of a company, you probably have location data that you could pull from, you know, human resources trace data. Okay. Um, for analysis, so there's lots of places people could get this data. Because I guess I'm the the root of the question was, you know, how we have two different templates for metrics. Mm -hmm. So we have the template that is the date time one, mm -hmm. and then obviously we have the template that's for the DNI. Um, I think it's probably, probably the looser template, the, the one that we use for DNI. But here would be some qualitative places you could go. Here are some quantitative ways that you could track this down. Yeah. Here are some ways okay. you might be able to gather this data. Okay. I mean, I can start kind of like this one, start mm -hmm. building that out a little bit. Okay. And then maybe we can work on it in a couple of weeks. Yep, that sounds good. Um, I think also if we on the commit out the one, the commit hour one, the activity mm -hmm. date and time one, I could also in the interim reach out to folks at Grimoire Lab mm -hmm. and at Augur and just see how they're doing this so yeah. that we can start talking about, I can fill in things like visualization. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we can see um, possibly other ways they use this data. So there might be some more metrics that are more um, 
that, that kind of build on this data that are also yeah. sort of related to geography? Yeah, would you call those filters or visualizations? They're not exactly filters. No, I'm, I'm thinking more like, um, like they're just, they're just other metrics that use these metrics. Right, I'm thinking about how to, how would I put that in the template? No, I think it would be like, it, it might be a separate metric. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I'm saying once you dig into some of the data in uh, Grimoire Labs and, yeah. um, and Augur, they might have some additional metrics. I see what you're that saying. That are also sort of location, geography, time zone based that right. might be interesting I, for us to define. I get what you're saying. Getting, getting back to the, we should be better at defining the metrics that we're already using in our tools yeah. that we don't have in a release, but everybody's using. I will, um, I'll put that on my like agenda for the, the software meetings next week. Cool. They both passed this week, but. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else you wanna talk about? related to um, geography metrics? No, that's it. Okay. This is helpful, thank you. Um, do you know, will Sean be back next week? Or not he next should. week, but the week after for the, for the next one? Um, what date is that? It's the, what's the date today? The 19th, so October 3rd. Um, when? When is Grace Hopper? I'm just trying to figure out when to put him on the agenda to talk about Augur. So he should be there. He's doing the OSS day mm -hmm. for Grace Hopper, but that's the day before the conference, which I think is the last day of September, the 30th, because Grace Hopper is October 1 through 4. Oh, so the 3rd of October, he'll be at Grace Hopper. Um, but I don't even know if he's staying the entire time, so he should be available. Okay. We can check with him. The other... Uh, yeah, I can check with him. Okay. Yeah, that would be good, because if he's not available, we could have someone from Grimoire Labs come and do a similar thing. That would be great. Where they talk about some of the metrics that they're, they've already defined and that are already implemented in the tools that we should, we should put some definitions together. I thought we'd just start with Augur because, um, you know, Sean's been in so many of these meetings, but we could, we could pull Georg or Danny or anybody else from the Grimoire Labs project in to um, I could talk ping, more about that. I could ping Georg to see if like Santi or Alberto mm -hmm. could come to do exactly what you're talking about? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it'd be interesting to just, just kind of have that, have that conversation. Cause I, yeah, I do want to get more of those metrics actually defined in, in the release. Okay. Cause we, we have so many things that are implemented in the software that were not in the release at all. I know. Um, I know and I feel like, there. I feel like that's like our biggest gap. We just keep working on new metrics because we're like, oh, well, there's lots of stuff we haven't defined at all. And so we, yeah, we keep working on the new stuff and we haven't really defined the stuff we're already using. Okay, I will do that. No, I totally agree. Yeah. Um, and they're just, and, they, and they, they have visualizations, they might have mm -hmm. existing implementations. Yeah, yeah. They, they might I know have, they have existing implementations of lots of metrics that we have not defined and put in a release. I, yeah, for sure. Okay. And what would be really interesting to better understand, which is sort of like step two of, of all of this, like step one is figure out what some of these metrics are. I'd be willing to bet that there are metrics that are defined differently in Grimoire Labs than in Augur. I agree. And that's, I actually think that's when <laughs> the metrics committee, this work can yeah. help in that regard. Yeah. Because I don't think we want different definitions. Like this is what evolution had done with um, Jesus and Sean. Mm -hmm. I mean, they spent, it felt like an inordinate amount of time dealing with what like a contribution was and how they yeah. both find contribution. Um, it took it forever, but I think it was important. Yeah. 
Yeah, totally. No, it's, it is important. All right. Well, I put that, I have a couple action items now. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Anything else? Anything else you want to talk about in this meeting? Nope. I'm good. Okay. I feel like either everybody's been traveling or we need to do something to sort of drum up support for these, these meetings. I feel, um, like, I feel like it's dwindling a little bit. Well, I, I do think travel is I honestly a part of it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, I think reaching out, maybe reaching out directly to Georg and getting Sean here, mm -hmm. that'll help. Even yeah. if five people to a half a dozen people makes all the difference in the world. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And then, yeah, okay, yeah, that's about it. Okay. Cool. Well, thanks, everybody. Thank you. Until next time, have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.